I'm Melissa Nicavoli in High Park, where now this park is open to vehicle traffic after more than a month of being closed off due to COVID-19. But this has also ignited the debate on whether or not High Park should only be accessible to pedestrians. With the sun shining on a beautiful spring day, it's no surprise that the park has seen crowds by the hundreds. It's absolutely wonderful. It's the most beautiful park, I think, in the whole world. But with what is now our physical distancing norms, many say keeping distance may not be that simple. There's a lot of people. I have my mask in my pocket if it gets too crowded. Having some wonder why the city rushed to open West Road and Colbert Lodge Drive, the road that runs throughout the park to cars so soon. It was so wonderful uh, when we had the streets to ourselves, whether you were walking or running or cycling. And, you know, I really just don't see the need for it. People can take the TTC, it's right there. And, uh, you know, maybe with some exceptions. I was sort of enjoying it without cars, to tell you the truth. Um, I didn't really mind it. With the taste of what it's like to stroll through a vehicle-free high park, many that frequent the area say it's something the city should consider for the long term. It's long past due to have this as pedestrian only. Some pedestrians in High Park not quite understanding why the city would make the park accessible to vehicles, while also launching Active TO, a program that closed off roads so that pedestrians and cyclists can go outside safely throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. The City of Toronto issued a statement regarding the park's opening saying, High Park is open, accessible to the public, and has been for a few weeks now following the conclusion of the cherry blossom bloom. Anyone in the park is asked to maintain physical distancing of at least two meters. It was beautiful the way it was. It hasn't been too crowded, but it's not the weekend yet. While keeping two meters apart may be easier said than done, the city does say it understands that the weekends do bring out larger crowds. That is why the city will be closing off vehicle traffic on both Saturdays and Sundays. Melissa Nakavali, City News.